States Army, and I was immediately transferred to the 15th General Hospital, which we, we trained for a while in England, and then soon after D-Day, we crossed the English Channel and landed at Utah Beach. Now, Utah Beach had been mined extensively by the Nazis, and so we had to clear the land of landmines that we were going to pitch our tents. And the nearby farmers did us a favor by parading cows through Utah Beach. Three cows exploded. We lost those, but we made the land safe for pitch the tents. And we stayed there for several months. Now, Utah Beach was not far from the town of Garsh. And Garsh was the home of the Rheinland Poincaré Hospital, the largest hospital in Europe, the largest hospital in France and the wartime hospital for the French army. And I was invited by the French medical command to make rounds on the, at the Raymond Poincaré Hospital. And believe it or not, they assigned me to the Nazi POW wounded floor, which was an experience in its own self. In any event, we survived the rockets. Uh, I almost lost my life with a rocket explosion in my office. And uh, 16 doctors and nurses were killed in that explosion. And why I was not in my office at that time, I will never know, because it was my practice to be there every day. In any event, we survived the rocketing. We served as a support for the First Army negotiating the murderous Siegfried Line. And the war in Europe finally came to an end. <coughs> At that point, I was transferred immediately to southern France and to the 229th General Hospital, which was bound for the invasion of Japan. And we embarked on a 55-day boat trip through the Panama Canal. And while in the mid-Pacific, the atomic bomb was dropped, and it was no longer necessary to continue the Japanese study lessons, we were able to land in the Philippines, in the area of Ngang Gulf. Ngang Gulf was a very interesting area because it was the site of some of the fiercest combat during the war. But at this time, this is where the U.S. Army had a hospital for the rehabilitation of American POWs. And not too far away was the Dutch Army encampment also doing the same thing. And I visited the, the Dutch area and for the first time saw atomic bomb survivors with hideous burns on their face and their extremities. We had no treatment for these poor people and they all died. But it was another example of the brutality of war to 